If you're looking for other things to do in Las Vegas or to even look at other property tours of homes like this one, tap that subscribe button and also click on the link below. It's going to be pinned to the comment section to sign up for our monthly newsletter because it is action packed with all the great things, not of only lovely home tours and properties, but also plenty of things to do in Vegas and Henderson. Do you know what comedian said that he's made millions off of being an idiot? If so, stick around because I'm going to be showing you a celebrity home tour of this lovely property in the McNeil Estate. Plenty of strip views up here in the well-known art district. No HOA is going to be found in this community, and it is an iconic Scotch 80s estate built in 1964, but rebuilt in the 1980s, featuring a six bed, six bath, and a little over 6,900 square feet. The chandelier is a France imported chandelier. The entire home sits on almost an acre lot, and it has a casita light feature that is located next to the three car garage. Wow, what a chandelier, right? Well, let's go ahead and give you another clue. So this gentleman was awarded the France's Legion of Honor Award in 1983. If you still haven't guessed it yet, let's go ahead and give you another clue. So this gentleman was a visiting member of the Rat Pack in the 1950s and 1960s. And the Rat Pack included celebrities like Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, and Joey Bishop.
Have you been able to guess it yet? I'll give you another clue. So not only was he a celebrity, but he was also a very well-known comedian and actor. He used to partner a lot and be great friends with Dean Martin. The historic McNeil neighborhood, also just known as McNeil, has homes that were built as early as the 60s, but date back even further to the late 40s and 50s. Most homes that you'll find here are ranch style single story homes with a too few story homes included in this neighborhood as well, but not too many. A lot of them are mid-mod or considered a desert modern home style. And there are several separate subdivisions within McNeil, including the McNeil Track, McNeil Estates, McNeil Manor, and McNeil Park, as well as Manson Manor. And there are several custom homes, not within the subdivision, but along Cashman.
Have you guessed it yet? This is the iconic Jerry Lewis's former residence right here. And I just wanted to point out that this bar right here is very original, still in the same spot, even has a little fridge back here. Let me know in the comments below if you were able to guess whose home that this belonged to in the McNeil neighborhood. Did you guess Jerry Lewis? Of course you did because you're smart. But this is his residence that he used to live in. He died in, I believe, 2017 at the age of 91. And I believe his wife had sold this residence prior to that. Tell me what you think about this home in the comments below.